beloved ones, your divine presence is God's providence individualized for you. Your divine presence is your true provider. It will help you to prosper in all ways. God provides in proportion to how much you accept his providence through focused attention upon your I am presence and its divine light and how much you share God's love by serving and giving to others and to your world. If you desire to prosper and to receive greater abundance, place more focused attention on the God light within and then feel and accept that light embracing you and manifesting as what you require to fulfill your purpose. God intends every child of his, her heart to prosper. Prospering is your natural state of being, for God gives you fully all the essentials when you are ready to accept them. When you realize that the physical essentials are really not that much and focus more on the spiritual essentials, you expand your internal chalice to receive divine light and God's gracious quintessences and blessings. When you prosper, you are meant to share the blessings of your spiritual and physical abundance with others, naturally. No outside influence of church or state should seek to coerce you to do this. It should arise as a natural divine impulse from within to alleviate suffering by helping others where and when you can. If your threefold flame is balanced, you will naturally prosper in body, soul, mind, and spirit, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. You will have what you require to sustain your body temple, your emotional needs, in relationships, your mental needs, in education, training, and coaching, and your spiritual needs, your validation of your authentic artistic life work and mission. Focusing too much on what is outside of you diverts the energies of spirit from being precipitated practically in your life exactly as required, where, when, how, and with whom. Some people who seem to have it all may have many material possessions, yet these are fleeting, and over time they do not help to sustain their harmony, balance, and spiritual integrity. Focusing on what is inside allows a natural arising from your source of those things that will serve you in permanency, holy virtues, sacred graces, spiritual gifts, and divine blessings. You should become adept at calling these forth both for yourself and for others. In fact, much of your prayer work can be focused on drawing forth all of these heavenly favors for yourself, your loved ones, your spiritual family, and other spiritual communities around the world. 
on April 9, 1963, in my encyclical on World Goodwill, I. L. Moria stated through Mark Prophet, quote, Men and women of this blessed planet, you must rise in a united effort to throw off all chains of violence, warfare, greed, deceitful advertising, harmful habits, and the insatiable desire for trash and entertainment. Replace these plunders of your divine inheritance by those spiritual and cultural pursuits which will expand for the individual soul a more permanent state of happiness resulting from new horizons of truth and wondrous revelations concerning the total being of each individual and his place and the universal order. And in another section of this treatise, I shared. Thus, a handful of dedicated selfless individuals can make the difference in the spiritual balance of power for the entire planet, irrespective of the particular religious edifice they may or may not occupy. For God has planted his seeds in the waste places and in the gardens which flourish, that all may be blessed with the abundance of every good and perfect gift. That God is no respecter of persons or systems is attested to by the saints in heaven who have arisen from every age and walk of life under the common banner of charity whose tenet is supreme allegiance to that life which is God and that God which is love and action. End quote. Beloved ones, to prosper in the providence of your divine presence, consider these words and act decisively each day to transcend your lesser self and to embrace your great God self and to bring forth God's kingdom come upon earth. I thank you.